Hi, I'm Jessica Rose. The FMCSA's Hours of Service rule seeks final approval from the White House, and the recent tornadoes in Nashville bring devastation to Western Express. Plus, the TCA names its newest highway angels, and we hear their story firsthand. Hi, I'm Craig Wolfman. Another carrier shutting its doors for good. And we got a chance to chat with Baseball Hall of Famer, the Iron Man, Cal Ripken Jr., about the similarities between trucking and baseball. And in our tech segment, our own David Compton jumps behind the wheel of a trucking simulator at the recent TCA convention. All this coming up on this edition of the Trucker News Channel. This segment is brought to you by truckjobseekers.com. Looking for the perfect truck driving job? Go to truckjobseekers.com. The long hoped for revision to the hours of service rule took a giant step toward reality when the acting FMCSA administrator, Jim Mullen, announced it had been sent to the White House's Office of Management and Budget for approval. The action on HOS began in 2018 after pleas from drivers and motor carrier executives asking for more flexibility in the rule, specifically in extending the 14-hour clock in certain circumstances and the outdated requirement for eight consecutive hours in the sleeper berth. Bearing any changes asked for by the OMB, there is typically a 60 to 90 day lapse between the time a rule is submitted and released as the final rule. Well, it's another month and another carrier has closed their doors. RCX Solutions Incorporated, a carrier based in Little Rock, Arkansas, has announced that effective March 2nd, it had ceased operations. Founded in 2001, RCX Solutions employed seven drivers and contracted 24 owner-operators who leased their trucks to the company. The shutdown is just the latest in a string of closings and bankruptcies of small and large carriers across the United States. RCX Solutions' fate took hold in 2017 when it was on the losing end of a lawsuit that awarded the plaintiff damages of $23 million, even after an appeal that resulted in the United States Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals lowering the damages to just $7.5 million. It was still not enough to save this company. In the early hours of Tuesday morning, two tornadoes ripped through central Tennessee, touching down in Nashville and damaging homes and businesses in at least eight counties. Twenty-two people have been confirmed dead by the Tennessee Department of Health, and more than 200 people have been hospitalized. The tragedy struck close to home for area truckers, as Nashville-based Western Express was hit especially hard. CEO Paul Wick put out a video showing heavy damage to their shop facility, along with two other buildings, one of which the company had moved into just six months ago. Two-thirds of that building was completely leveled. However, the company's disaster recovery plan is in effect and the company's trucks are still on the road delivering freight. What does baseball and trucking have in common? Well, our very own Wendy Miller caught up with someone who sees similarities between the two. Cal Ripken Jr. holds the record for consecutive games played at 2,632, surpassing Lou Gehrig's streak of 2,130 that had stood for 56 years. Ripken prided himself as someone people could depend on. He feels the same way about truckers. Take a look. Are there any of the qualities that you mentioned a little while ago that you think specifically pertain to truck drivers? I have some friends that, uh, and many baseball players that washed out, you know, uh, went into the trucking industry. So mm -hmm. a couple of guys that we came, that uh, we came back for anniversaries, uh, like in 1980 at Charlotte, we had a championship team. There was two on that team, I think, that, uh, that, that uh, drove a truck. And uh, they were... It's it's the grinding out mentality. It's the uh, it's the stubbornness sometimes. It's the uh, standing up for what you believe in and uh, and and sometimes doing things that aren't expected of you. And uh, and so to me, uh, if, if I remember correctly, those two guys that uh, turned out to to um, to go into the trucking industry, they were talking about the the need to grind it out mentally and physically each and every day is almost the same. 
That's very true. And, and those, guys, those guys and girls do it every day. So do you have a specific message you'd like to give to them? Um, no, I mean, uh, it made me feel really good that you could be counted on each and every day by your teammates to play. And I think that's a principle and value um, that all, all of us should hold on to. And uh, I know that uh, we count on the trucking industry, um, many people counting on the, on the trucking industry, and in some ways you don't want to let anyone down. And so it's that, uh, um, you can rely on me, you can count on me, I'll be there. To watch the entire Cal Ripken Jr. interview and hear more about how he feels about truckers, you can go to thetrucker.com to watch the entire clip. Time is money, and Catscale can help your drivers save time weighing. Drivers know their axle and gross weights before pulling off the scale and cat scale weights are always guaranteed. Drivers get back on the road faster with the Way My Truck app from Cat Scale. Ed and Tracy Zimmerman, drivers for Her Bosch Motor Lines Incorporated of Dubuque, Iowa, have been named the 2019 Highway Angels of the Year by the Truckload Carriers Association and its partner Epic View. The husband and wife driving team was recognized during the TCA's annual convention for their heroic rescue of a motorist from a burning vehicle moments before it exploded. Our own David Compton had the chance to catch up with the couple to hear their story. The, the man was awake and conscious enough to where he told us, oh, by the way, I have a gun and ammunition in the car. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and this thing's on fire, so we're, okay, we need to get you further away. Uh, so we got him moved further away from the car, and one of the courtesy patrols from the Turnpike Authority came in and parked between the car and us. And just after he parked the car, we heard a loud hiss, and the car blew up. Uh, fire must have gotten to the gas tank and, and when it blew there was metal flying, glass going everywhere and we were there for a total of 36 minutes and in that 36 minutes we changed our lives and it changed his whole family's life because he was able to go home he was on his way to his daughter's birthday party I. I I've lost my father. I can't imagine losing my father on my birthday. Yeah. That, that would have been horrific for that poor little girl for the rest of her life. So we, uh, just doing what we're supposed to do yeah. as, as human beings, helping somebody out, we changed our lives, we changed their lives. To hear the complete interview with Ed and Tracy Zimmerman, visit thetrucker.com. These days, more and more individuals are looking to get their CDL, are getting their first experience behind the wheel with a trucking simulator. Our own David Compton had a chance to catch up with a company who creates these simulators themselves, and he gets behind the wheel to give it a spin. Hi, this is Dave Compton with the Trucker News Channel. Joining me today is Danny Grenier from Virage Simulation. Danny, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Pleased to be here. Well, look, I'm really excited about this. We've been doing interviews here at the TCA, and this one's going to be one of the more interesting ones, if maybe not embarrassing ones. I'm going to get behind the wheel of this bad boy simulator in a second and hopefully not embarrass myself in front of our viewers. But for those that don't know about the company, give us a high-level view of what you do. Okay, Virage Simulation, we've uh, founded the company in 2005, basically to uh, design and build truck simulators, car simulators, and curriculum training programs that allow drivers to become experienced in different conditions, different situations, and this is really what we do. We develop that curriculum portion uh, that uh, scores drivers, it measures performance, it stores data on our system, and it reports that driver performance on what we call our driver tracker system and our debris station. Very cool. So look, I know you're selling to carriers, and every carrier is different. One might have Peterbilt, one might have Mac, you know, it varies from carrier to carrier, obviously. How do you guys handle that? Well, we have a great system to be able to do that. We have our, our, our instrumentation cluster, which is basically screen-based, and we can project on that screen pretty much any type of instrumentation we need. So, for example, if a, a carrier has an a international-type vehicle or freightliner, well, well what we, we design the, the vehicle itself, the 3D graphics, but the instrumentation, as soon as we select that vehicle, will pop up on that screen, and that's what we're going to see as instrumentation. Peter built or any type of vehicle will appear according to what's in the real, the real thing. 
So I'm going to get behind the wheel here in a second, and I don't think our viewers want to see how bad I shift. So do you have different versions? Do you have manual? Do you have automatic? Yes, that's a good question. We do have manual to 10, 13, 18 speed, and we also address automatics. As the industry is moving towards automatics more and more these days, well, all of our training programs have been developed to function either in manual or automatic uh, conditions. Very cool. So safety is a big word these days, and, you know, road conditions, they dictate safety sometimes, and everything from a bright sunny day to inclement weather. How do you guys handle that? You read my mind, Dave. We have a defensive driving training program that addresses specifically the safety issues where we want to get drivers to experience different conditions. In these programs, we do have different uh, environmental conditions, snow, ice, rain, dry pavement, whatever you want. And we also have conditions where you can drive in the mountains uh, uh, with the bad weather conditions and stuff like that. So all of that is either pre-programmed in our scenarios so that drivers can experience the same conditions uh -huh. and re-experience them until they manage them well or we can adjust them through our operator station system where we can simply define that on the fly as we feel like. So for me today, can you put sunny conditions, straight road for miles, and not whiteout conditions and oh. throw a ringer at me? I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do our viewers, if I'm a carrier out there, how do our viewers find out about this? Well, uh, communicate with uh, virashsimulation.com on our website or our phone number 514-856-1556 and someone will be pleased to get in contact or speak with uh, whomever is interested in, in uh, getting one of these uh, products. Very nice. Okay, everybody, check them out. It's Viraj. This is Dave Conte with the Trucker News Channel. Back to you in the studio. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to click the little red subscribe button below. You can also go to thetrucker.com to read the latest breaking news stories. That's all for this edition. On behalf of David Compton, Craig Multiman, and everyone here at the Trucker News Channel, thanks for watching.